Today, I'm in Tokyo, where I'm about to meet a fellow YouTuber, Emma, who lives in a crazy cool, but crazy small apartment. This one, I can't wait to check out. Hey, Hi. Emma. Hey, I'm Bryce. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, come on in. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. Yeah, I'm excited to show you my, my tiny little little home. Welcome. It's very small, isn't it? Yeah, it's <laughs> it's a bit tight. You can touch both the walls. How big is this place, actually? Uh, it says eight square meters. So eight square eight meters? Eight square meters, yeah. Wow. It's pretty, pretty, pretty tight. <laughs> So as a city apartment, this is actually a lot smaller than a lot of the tiny houses I've visited. Yeah. How did you actually come to be here in this place? Well, I spent ages like looking for apartments and everything, but this place just caught my eye because it's got two separate levels. A lot of places are just like the bed is right next to the bathroom and the kitchen and you like eat next to your bed and it just felt a bit wrong. So I finally found somewhere that has two levels, which kind of separates my, my living and my sleeping area. But yeah, I just, I always wanted to be in Japan and I found a way to get here. Being an apartment in downtown Tokyo, this is really small, but is it actually kind of typical of the apartments in this area? I mean, Japanese apartments are typically really small, but this, it's at least more narrow than anything else I've ever seen before. Like, you can touch both walls. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is definitely a bit smaller. It's strange the way because even though it is so narrow, and as you say, I mean, <laughs> I don't, I don't even have to stretch out my arms yeah. to touch both walls. But even though it's so narrow, it doesn't feel super confined, and I think that's because you've got all the height there as well, don't you? Yeah, I actually think this um this height is super useful because I can actually finally stretch at least in one direction. <laughs> I think without this extra space, it would feel a bit, maybe a bit too cramped, but. It feels good. Can you show me around? Yeah, so when you enter a Japanese home, you've got to take your shoes off in the Genkan. Because even when they gave me this place, they're like, you must take your shoes off. Like, uh, even if it's part of your culture to wear shoes inside, you, you have to respect Japanese standards and take your shoes off inside. Fair enough. So there's like a little shoe cupboard here, which I keep all my shoes in. And then this is my closet, which has ah, coats and stuff. Right. I don't know if I should show you, because it's really full. It may be a full cupboard. Yeah. There is no shame in the number of clothes that you have in that <laughs> closet. I think girls back home in Australia and New yes, Zealand yeah. would uh, would struggle to be that Spartan. I have to be really selective with like my fashion choices here because I don't have I don't have room to be luxurious. It just keeps life simple. And the entranceway yeah. microwave the toaster oven. Yeah. So yeah, you have your toaster oven, your microwave. This stuff I actually moved it. It used to be over there, which made the space feel really, really like claustrophobic because right. there was nowhere like nowhere to move around. But I moved all the stuff over here, and yeah, this toaster oven is kind of. I had to get these sticky pads because. When there's an earthquake, it moves. Right. And so I, I usually like sit right there and if these sticky pads weren't there, it would like just keep moving towards my head. <laughs> it's like, one day this is gonna suck. <laughs> so yeah, now it doesn't move in an earthquake, which is cool. And yeah. then more storage in here for yeah, cutlery, just cutlery and pots, pans. everything. Any cupboard thing just has bits and bobs of everything, really. There's like a general theme, but if I just have something I'm like, I need to put this somewhere, I just like check it in. It's not the best method, but whatever gets stuff out of out of the open space. You've even got a yoga mat here. Yeah, so, ah. Uh, <laughs> sometimes I like to like work out or do yoga and try, okay, it doesn't fit. Like it just, like the corner, <laughs> it's like in that size. Do you want me to show you? Like yeah, that? go on, yeah, let's have right. a look. So I try to like get through here. So this is like the biggest space in my house. So I'll just like try to lay it out like this, but it, like the table's just in the way. So I can usually get it to about there. And like doing exercises is really frustrating because sometimes it'll be like, okay, now stretch your arms to the side. And I'm like, <laughs> and I'll like be lying on the ground and uh, it just, it never quite works out, but it, it's enough. Like I can do stuff this way, but yeah, that's where I do my exercises. A for effort, right? Absolutely. <laughs> you just got to try everything. And if it doesn't work, you try something else. I think that's good about small spaces. Like it makes you think a bit more, it keeps you creative. And then you have your office area here? Yeah, this is like pretty much where I, I spend most of my time. <laughs> I just get like a chair, my computer, and yeah, it's, it's just where, the, where I edit. Like that's where I edit all my videos, where I answer all my mail, where I do pretty much all of my work. But it's nice because I can at least like look out the window at the back. 
Yeah, I, I know that my, my neighbour, he's got his desk facing the wall and I couldn't deal with that. <laughs> like, no. If I like am working and I look up and all I see is, is a wall, I get so like, like, let me out. So yeah, I can always see outside. Yeah, I always need something living or like something happening in the space. Like, that's why I have so many pot plants everywhere. Yeah. And I want even more. But yeah, if there's no living things, if I can't see the outside world, things just feel really stale. And that's when this space can feel a bit small. I did find that a bit of a challenge when I got here because this is like all the furniture isn't mine. Like this is a fully furnished come as it is apartment. And trying to find different ways to make the space my own was like challenging, but it feels really re like rewarding. Yeah. Because it, it is a challenge, especially when you can't pick your own furniture and I can't drill into the walls or anything. So I just have to let it be, but influence it <laughs> yeah. with all my stuff. And because you have to be so selective with your possessions, it's like I choose only things that mean a lot to me and, yeah. and really help the space. And then there's the kitchen space down over here. Yeah, yeah. So pretty much this is actually kind of typical of Japan. Um, so you get no bench space when you get an apartment in Japan, really. Even if you get like a big apartment, for some reason they, they value uh, sink space more than cutting space. Right. I have no idea why, <laughs> but it's just really typical of Japan. So what I did was I, um, I managed to find a chopping board that manages to fit just over the space so I can cut on the chopping board and actually have somewhere to do things. My your chair. seat down here, your little <laughs> chair down here is so cute. Well, I'm quite lucky to be in Japan because like no one sits at a table here. Like everyone sits on the floor usually. Yeah. Like all like dining tables and everything are usually like on the floor. So you sit either on floor chairs or just on your knees or sit cross-legged. Like no one has space for dining tables here. <laughs> so it's actually quite easy to find a little, a little chair. I'll just give you a demonstration. So that, the funny thing is, like my feet don't, <laughs> yeah, there's just not enough space to like put my feet down fully, but I mean, it's enough space. And sometimes I'll edit here. Like I have, um, I'll just reach over here. I have this little table I found. Oh, sorry, snake plant. So I can pull that out. And sometimes I'll like edit here. If it's raining, I'll just like have my computer here, do my thing and just be able to look out the window and have a good time. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. I love it. It's like a little paradise. Yeah. Okay. And so you've even actually got a little balcony here as well. Yeah, yeah, I do. It's a little, it, yeah, it's not the smallest one I've ever seen in Japan. Like sometimes they'll have balconies which are just like, you can kind of open the door a little bit. But yeah. yeah, whatever space you get in Japan, you make the most of it. So, and out here, I'll just show you. This is my clothesline. So oh, when right. I do my washing, it just folds out like that. That's Brilliant. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's excellent. It makes me so happy. Yeah. That's, like, going to the shops here, there's so many things where I'm like, I would have never thought of that. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's no way. Yeah. I mean, some things are kind of unnecessary, but a lot of things, I, like when I first came here, some things I'm like, that I'd never use that. But now I'm like, I need that because <laughs> <laughs> the way of life here is just so different. And your bathroom here. Yeah. It's super interesting. This is my little... My little bathroom. So a lot of Japanese bathrooms, it's kind of hard to explain, but it, this is the shower room. So right. everything gets really wet super easily every time. So then you have these little um, bathroom slippers. So when it is wet, you can just put them on and you don't get your feet wet, which is super convenient. But um, it, like when I first moved here, I was like, where's the toilet? <laughs> I thought there might be like a public toilet somewhere. I thought that I'd been like messed over by the company. And I was like looking around trying to find it. But then I realized you just like get this and you pull the sink away. Oh, wow. And the toilet's underneath. Look at that. <laughs> it's so cool, yeah. And there's like um, toilet paper and everything. It's just, yeah, it's easy. That is actually really clever That's design, like, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, one of my favorite things. But yeah, it's a really neat little space. And um, there's like a little fan in here so that when, uh, when I shower, it like, I don't need to air it out or anything. And there's like a little medicine cabinet at the top. So yeah, I think they've done great with this space. And there's still another floor to go. Yes, the bedroom. Can we take a look? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't know how we're all going to fit up there, but come out. Welcome. <laughs> this is super cozy. Yeah, yeah. It's a little loft. Yeah. But I'm happy because, well, for me anyway, there's enough like headspace. Like I can sit up and I don't. I don't know about you. Yeah, no, I'm oh, yeah, totally, totally comfortable fine. here Yay. as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was so happy about that because I was scared like with a loft, I'd feel like I was getting into a coffin, but yeah. <laughs> but this is like super nice. I think 
there's there's something about being in a smaller space when you're sleeping that I don't know for me I actually find it really comforting me too I was gonna use the word comforting <laughs> <laughs> yeah I even like when I was a kid I like to have even just a mattress on each side just to give it a kind of like a like a smaller like feeling I yeah don't know. like what animal sleeps out in the open like I feel that animals always go to like a cave or they just try to get into like a corner or something I don't know I think a lot of humans like to feel like they're in a tight nice cozy space I don't know sometimes I'm like oh I, I'd love a big enough space so that I can do this or I'd love this or I, I want this extra and I'm like but once I have that I'm gonna want another thing and I'm gonna want the next step and I, I don't think I'll ever be satisfied until I'm satisfied with where I am presently so what do you think the big advantage of living in a space like this is it keeps you I, I still love that it keeps me creative and I love uh, living by myself like I know like there are much bigger spaces that people get with like share housing things but I love having that time to myself and having that space that is my own to like relax unwind and really just get into the zone of things but yeah, I think just being able to think creatively and have all these opportunities to to make this space my own in whatever way I can, I think that's my favorite thing about this space. Is there anything that you actually struggle with living here? I like to dance <laughs> and it's a struggle because <laughs> every time I move my arms out, I hit the wall. <laughs> I get so sad, I'm like, I just want to dance. But it's not that bad. Like, I can still dance as long as I face the right way. And I want to have dinner parties. I mean, I could have dinner parties, but I can't make enough food and have enough space for everyone to be sitting comfortably for a long amount of time. Right. Like, I could have friends over for a little bit, but I would like it if I could have them over for, like, a day. Or, like, sleepovers are really challenging because it's, like, where? Yeah. <laughs> but mostly I'm really happy here. And it's my space and it's my little house. Tokyo is famous for being a super expensive city. Mm. What's the rent here like? Um, I pay 69,000 yen, which is uh, like less than what I was paying in a rural town in Australia. Like, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, 69,000 yen a month, and that includes Wi-Fi, utilities. Um, I have month-to-month -month contracts, which is good with my kind of visa, and it's English-friendly, and it's close to a main train station. Like, it, I, I personally feel that I've got a good deal. And... It can be a bit expensive living in Tokyo. Uh, rent can be expensive, but you just gotta really search to find the right places and you'll find some good stuff. Emma, this is a super cool apartment. Yay! I feel, <laughs> I feel really honored to have been sort of brought into this cozy little nook of Aww. your world and it's been such an adventure. Cool. Thank you so much for showing me around. No problem, anytime. Having the opportunity to come here to Tokyo and visit this apartment has been so special for me. There's this notion in Japanese culture of having enough, and I think that's exactly what this apartment is. Emma has taken this small space but turned it into a really comfortable home that gives her a little bit of solace in this big, crazy city. I think that's pretty cool. <laughs>